Hello, pup parents, and welcome to today's episode of the Perfect Pup Podcast. There are so many things to think about as a pup parent, things you need to buy, vet visits, giving your dog ex exercise, all those different things that can add up. And sometimes you just need things that are going to make your life easier as a pup parent. So I want to give you five things and a bonus item as well that I have used and use consistently that make my life probably about a hundred times easier. So let's get right into it. Of course, some items will be more or less applicable for your home situation or your dog's breed, but generally speaking, all of these things are going to help make your life easier as a pup parent. And when I can find things that are going to make my life easier, of course, I'm going to do it. So the first thing I've talked about this before, a robot vacuum or an automatic vacuum, it is one of the best things that I own in my home. I have two Labrador retrievers. They shed a lot and I run my vacuum at least once a day, honestly, sometimes twice, especially when they're shedding more. And it just makes the world a difference. And even if your dog doesn't shed a lot, having an automatic vacuum is going to help reduce things like dust and pet dander and just the general messiness that comes along with a dog. And there are budget options and there are really expensive options. I'll link a couple in the actual article for this episode on the Pupfer website. The $100, $150 investment of getting one of those, it's going to save you a ton of time with having to vacuum so frequently within your home. The second item, enzymatic cleaner. Of course, if you are in the puppy stage, you're thinking about carpet cleaners and those types of things. But even when your dog is potty trained, accidents are going to happen. It might be excited peeing. Your dog might throw up. Your dog might accidentally poop in your house. Like th things just happen. And having a good enzymatic cleaner is so important because a regular carpet cleaner or just any other cleaner you might use on a mess, it might get rid of some of the smell and it might kind of remove the stain a little bit. But the beauty of an enzymatic cleaner is that it works to actually get rid of basically compounds and chemicals that are left over that your dog might actually go back to. So if you're potty training, that's especially important because if your dog can still smell where they went pee once in your house, they're more likely to go back to that spot and their brain kind of tricks them in thinking, hey, urine smell here, this is probably an okay thing, I'm gonna do it again. So having a high quality enzymatic cleaner, super, super important. We offer one here at Pupford. The smell is amazing. It's a natural orange scent. It's the best enzymatic cleaner I've ever used. The third is an airtight food container. I don't know about you, but I can't stand when I go to someone's house and you open up the pantry or a closet or the laundry room and it just smells like dog food. Dogs are kind of stinky as it is. And that smell of dog food is typically not very enticing. So finding a really good airtight food container is not only going to keep your house smelling better, but it's also going to keep the food more fresh, especially if you're buying bulk bags of kibble or a dehydrated food, whatever it is, a lot of the packaging that it comes with, it's not very good. And if you're just going to kind of twist up the ends and hope that it stays fresh, you're kind of cheating out your dog a little bit. And, you know, they're not having as fresh of foods. So getting a good airtight food container is not only going to keep your food fresh, it's going to keep your house smelling less like dog food. The fourth item, and this is one I didn't learn about really until I moved to New York, is a paw wash or a paw cleaner. So a lot of times we take our dogs out and we maybe will wipe their paws if they're muddy or something like that. But I've gotten into the habit of every time I take my dogs out, and I know I live in an extreme example, New York City, right? Like the streets are disgusting. So it's more of a necessity. But looking back, even in, you know, not big cities, just walking your dog out on the sidewalk, you don't really know what's out there. And these paw washes, they're great. You just dip you kind of dip their paw in and it has a little scrubbing brushes on the inside. There's water, you add some soap, you kind of dip your paw, your dog's paw in, and then you can just dry it off and it's going to get rid of tons of mud and dirt and grime. And it's just going to leave your house cleaner because they're not tracking those things throughout your home, especially if your dog goes in your bed or on your furniture. You don't want their gross paws all over your furniture. So having that paw wash, super, super helpful. The fifth thing, 
I love this item. It's a magnetic screen door. So kind of how it works is if you have a, a, a door going out to your yard or a patio or something like that, and you know, a lot of times we like to keep it open for the fresh air, or you know, you find yourself opening it and closing it a lot to let your dog in and out. So what this, how this magnetic screen door works is it's around $20 and it just Velcros around the frame of your door. And then in the middle, it has magnets. So you just push through and it'll spread apart and the magnets automatically attract to close behind it to keep bugs out. And if you have a really, really small dog, this might not be the best situation, but I've had dogs as small as like 10, 15 pounds, um, use it and figure it out. They kind of catch on pretty quickly and it allows you to have your door open and let your dog in and out without bugs coming in because no one likes flies and bugs in their house. A sixth bonus item for those of you who wash or bathe your dog at home, this sounds extreme, but I purchased a dog blow dryer, like kind of the professional grade one. It was under a hundred dollars, which in the, it can kind of sound expensive that that's what you'd pay for a dog blow dryer, but I use it so frequently and it makes my baths time with my dog so much faster. I mean, it cuts drying time probably more than in half. Like it, it reduces it by probably 75% because what I'll do is I'll give my dog a bath you know, kind of give them a quick towel dry, but then you just run that blow dryer on them and it's high power. So, you know, if you try to use your own hair blow dryer on your dog, it'll work a little bit, but this is like high power. You can, you can change the, the velocity. It also has a heat mechanism that will warm the air up a little bit to make the drying off happen much more quickly. And I'll tell you, I love this thing. It's one of the, my favorite things I've ever bought for my dogs or that has to do with my dogs. So Again, I'll link to all these things in the episode notes so you can check them out. Be sure to check the full um, write-up recap on the Pupford blog uh, to kind of see all of these things as well. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you get one or two of these things and see how much easier life is because of it. Because honestly, all of these things have saved me so much time, so much effort, so many ruined rugs and all those different things. So make sure you check these items out. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend. Please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe on YouTube if you're watching there. And other than that, we will catch you on the next episode.